Hello live wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to day 10, the last day of the 10 day rings to make and sell challenge. Be sure to check out all the details about the challenge in the description below the video. Today we're making butterfly, cat and paw rings. We're going to start with 20 gauge wire, about 12 to 15 inches and we're going to bend it with our fine round nose pliers to make a little loop for one of the eyes of the cat and then right beside there we're going to make another little loop and the wires will go out at a diagonal to represent the ears so adjust it so they're the same size and then once you're happy with the eyes get some flat pliers and bend it down to make some pointy ears so we'll flip it around. I'm using the tweezer nose pliers from Zeron. We're just going to push it so it makes a nice sharp bend. Adjust it and then get some round pliers to bring the wire around to form the bottom little cheek there. Make it nice and round. And then we'll get our smaller round nose pliers to form the nose. So just bring it around in a little loop. Get the larger pliers again to form the other cheek. Just bring it around, crisscross the wires, and then get the flat pliers and bend the top wire out to the side. So now our wires are crisscrossed and we're gonna do our little twist. So we're gonna hold the wires out at an even angle Hold the cat face with the other hand and just twist. And we're going to keep twisting until it's about two and a quarter inches. Depends on the size of your finger. Bring the end around and clip it flush. Pinch in that little pokey end. And then we're going to hold the face with our thumb and bring the twist around the ring mandrel. Clip the little end so we can pop it into the other side of the cat. Grab the end with your flat pliers. Give it a little tug and we're just going to secure it around there. Clip it flush and pinch in that little pokey end. We can put it back on the ring mandrel, adjust it and there is your little kitty cat ring with the twisted band. So next we're going to do the little paws. So we're taking about 18 to 20 inches of 20 gauge wire. I usually cut my wire a little long to be sure. And we're going to form the paw. So we're using the end of our round nose pliers. We do two loops to the front and then two loops to the back on an angle to form the little toes. I can link up some other tutorials for the paws as well. And we're going to bring the wire down. Once we have the four toes done, just keep wiggling it till it's a good little shape there. And then bring the wire around the bottom in a little curve. And then down to form the bottom of the paw and then around the other side to bring it towards the middle. And then we're gonna take the middle and just bend it down. So there's our paw and the wires are crisscrossed. So now we could do our twist. Make sure you keep them out at an even angle so the twist is consistent. So we're gonna measure a couple of inches and then we're going to clip up one of the ends. Give it a little pinch to get that pokey end in. And now we're going to form the paw on the other side. So curve it around at the bottom and then form two of the toes towards the front. Bend the little loops. And then bring the wire back down and do two little loops to the back. So we're just going to use the end of the round nose pliers. I did cut my wire a little short on this end, 
So it's a little tricky to get it done, but that's the trouble. Sometimes it's hard to know where to center your wire. So it's all good. I had just enough to make the paw. So we're just going to bring it down and then around at the bottom of the paw, curve it around. And then I had just enough to make a little hook out of the end and hook it onto the ring band. Then I just pinched it in with the flat pliers, adjust it with the flat pliers so it's flat, and then wind it around the ring mandrel. Wind it about a size below what you need because it'll bounce back a bit, and you can hammer it a little bit if you need. So now I've got my round pliers and I'm just adjusting the position of the paws. I'm just rotating them a bit, pushing it down, to position it how I like and there is the double dog paw ring with the twisted band. So now I'm going to do the butterfly. We're just going to bend it in half with our round nose pliers and doing both wings together we're just going to shape them around. I have some other tutorials on where I use this hack to make butterflies it's a really great way to make them symmetrical. So now we're going to do the top and the bottom wings, bend it around, and then bend it at the bottom, curve it around, and then the wires are going to go straight up. So from there we can open up the wings and you'll see that they are symmetrical. So we'll just open them up and use your flat pliers to adjust it as you need. From there, I'm going to get about a six inch piece of 20 gauge wire and wind it around the center of the butterfly. You could go around about three times, pinch it in with the flat pliers. and you want the wires to end up one going one way and one going the other way. And really pinch that wire in so it doesn't wiggle around too much. You can straighten out those wires. I'm using my nylon tipped pliers to flatten out the wire. They're really handy to straighten the wire. And now we're going to bring the wires for the ring band around to the back I cut it a little too long. You don't really need that much wire. And then we're going to hold it in the center back with some flat pliers and wind the ends through the band. Flip it around and do the same on the other side. This way your ring will be slightly adjustable. So we're just going to bring that end around and you can wind it around two or three times depending on how you like the look of it. And this way they're going to be secured in place and still being a little bit adjustable. So just wiggle it so it's secure. And then we're going to clip the ends flush with our flush cutters and pinch in the little pokey ends with our flat pliers, put it on the ring mandrel so it's nicely shaped. You can bring the wings out to make them more three-dimensional. Use your pliers if it is easier. And then you can remove it and you can either put a bead on for the head or you can just take one of the wires and wind it around into a little spiral to represent the head of the butterfly. So these are nice when they're made of all wire as well. I definitely have other tutorials where I use beads for the head of the butterfly. So wind it around as many times as you like to make a little spiral head. And once you're happy with the position, then you can start to form the antennas. We'll bring the wires straight up. 
and we're going to bend one wire around the vertical wire to secure it in place and then bend the wires straight up. At this point you can trim them to be the same length and that'll be easier to get even antennas. So now we're going to split them and I'm going to do the spiral from the inside out. Usually I do spirals on a cone but these are quite tiny so I'm just going to take the end, turn it into a little loop, and then just get our flat pliers and pinch in those little ends so there's no big gaps. And then you just rotate them down a bit to make your spiral. So now we'll do the same on the other side. Just adjust it with the flat pliers and then you can just take them with the flat pliers and rotate them down. So that's pretty well it. All you have to do now is put it back on the mandrel to make sure it's sitting nicely. And there is a the little butterfly and if you do want to make it more 3D you can push the wings out again. So it looks like they're flying and it wiggles around a little bit. The challenge will be happening from June 12th to June 21st, 2023. Be sure to join my private Facebook group to share photos of your creations from the 10 day challenge. Participants that complete all 10 challenges will be eligible to win great prizes, including wire from beadlon, this amazing stepped ring mandrel and custom wire jewelry from my Etsy shop. If you don't have Facebook, you can email me photos of all 10 rings at the end of the challenge to be eligible to win these great prizes. The Facebook group will be open for a limited time during the challenge and will be reopened at future dates for future challenges. Please note this is a private Facebook group so anything that you post in the group will not appear on your regular timeline. Be sure to check out all the details about the challenge in the description below the video. Have fun with the challenges and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time.